the dead. How may I serve you, Sojourner? I have died and wish to return to where I fell. I'm sorry, to Sojourner. Reaper sighs heavily. You are now barred from the world of Toro. I cannot comply. What? Who says I'm barred from there? You are barred from returning to that world by the command of Mephistopheles. He bows low again. I'm sorry, Sojourner. It is Mephistopheles who rules here, and so can he command me. So you worked for Mephistopheles all along. The Archdevil uses me as he uses all things. Such is his nature. I was not always his subject, but once he learned my true name, I was his forever. What is a true name? All beings have a true name that is the defi definition of their personal essence, their very existence. Should another learn your true name and speak it to you, then they then rule all that you are. Mephistopheles discovered my true name long ago, though I know not how. Only he knows it, so he alone commands me despite whatever I might wish. Mephistopheles used you as well, creating a devil's deal that you were unaware of. A bond was formed with him the moment you discovered his relic, and upon killing the one who held him captive, you took his place and he yours. What do you mean he took my place? He traded your freedom for his change. Chains. Once he was bound to the planar realm of Kania, but through his trickery and deceit, he has escaped through the bond he formed with you. You, so ye are you now bound to Kania, as he once was. The realm of Kania. What do you mean? Kania is the eighth hell of Beator, the frozen wastes and the dreaded depths. Here, Mephistopheles is lord of all and prisoner both. Or he was, until he slipped his chains and placed them onto you. Here, but I'm not in Kania, am I? You forget, Sojourner. This realm is all places as well as none. We exist in Kania just as everywhere else. Part of your prison just as not. He gestures to the mist-shrouded door that stands alone in the far end of the chamber. The path leads to Kania as it always has, as it has been a part of you since the bond was created. It is no longer barred to your passing. Is there nothing you can do to help me? Alas, I cannot. I have been commanded by Mephistopheles not to allow you to return to Toro, and you no longer possess his relic. If you learned my true name, you could command me to break the bond between you and return you to Toro. I know not how you would learn it, however, I cannot tell it to you. Are there any other relics? He shakes his head. I know of none. If any exist, they are well beyond your reach. It would be far easier for you to seek my true name, though even that is, near, is a near impossible task. How could I discover it? This I do not know. I cannot provide it to you willingly, Sojourner. And I have no knowledge of how Mephistopheles discovered it. If you did learn it, however, then you... Then would you be free? 
You sound as if you prefer to betray Mephistopheles. I cannot openly betray the one who holds my true name, Sojourner. There's almost a hint of a smile in the Reaper's featureless mirror of a face. Aren't you worried that I might abuse your true name? Abuse it more than the Arch Devil himself already has? Reaper shakes his head slowly. I think not. Ah, the same. Oh, may I serve you, Sojourner? What of my companions, where are they? The Reaper pauses for a moment, gazing out into the distance as if searching before finally responding. They are dead, Sojourner. That is, however, merely a transitory state as you are well aware. The spirits of the dead can end up in many places as their will dictates. The outer planes are infinite in their variety and who can say where a soul will go. That said, this realm touches all places and so can these dead companions be found. But they will agree to come or not each according to their desire. I cannot compel them to come here in the same way I had you. Who shall I summon? Ah, uh, summon forth, Deacon. Consent is given. His spirit travels to the gates now, hurtling toward us, and the flesh is now forming. Your companion returns to you. Deacon suddenly appears. Strangely, he does not seem surprised nor disturbed by his situation. Tell you his boss, Dean keeps telling angels that he got lots to do, that he not staying up there, but they not believes him. Ah, Deacon be right all along, just like Deacon says. Stupid angels. He looks around a bit, taking in the chamber. Um, is we in hell, boss? Place needs good cleaning, maybe? Yes, little one. Nalia has requested your presence here in the hills. Now, Sojourner, is there anyone else? Uh, let's try to, uh, to summon all of them. Maiden. Consent is given. Maiden suddenly appears as whole as the last time you saw him. He looks around, mildly bewildered. So I am summoned from beyond the veil once again. To stand at your side. I'm glad to be here with you then. When Mephistopheles killed me along with so many of the rebels, I thought my time was done. Time was done. He turns and regards the gatekeeper. And you, strange one. It was you I felt calling me, yes? You are the one who brought me to this place. Yes, fiendish one. Nalia has requested your presence here in the hells. Now, Sojourner. Athera, what's it given? What? Where am I? Your eyes focus on you. Nalia? So I'm alive once more. Slowly she nods. Comprehension coming to her. Thank you for bringing me back then, my friend. I died at Mephistopheles' hand along with so many others was unsettling, to say the least. And what is this place? Are we in the plains? Yes, Dark One. Now Leah has requested your presence here in the hills. How may I serve you, okay. Sojourner? What do you know about Kanya? Only what I have already spoken to you. Kanya is the eighth hill of Theator. A frigid land where Mephistopheles once ruled. It is a plain of torment and evil. Be wary should you step into its icy shores. There was a time when I roamed free and I knew much of Kenya that was. I know little of the frozen ways that exist now however, and I have no power there. Cannot help you. Uh. Surely you have all my stuff still. Excellent. That's the important part. 
for now we are going to keep Leyland simply because I don't think there's much action now. We suddenly got to use the uh, this Valen more or less, I guess, belongs here, uh, or might have connections. He's died, dealt with this city of lost souls. These type of people, poor. Spirit Devour. Yeah, you're going to take constant cold damage while you're in this place, so enjoy. There are ways around it, and the cold damage here is quite weak. But any kind of cold protection item will be very valuable here. Worried spirits. A sad face, shimmering form coalesces before you. The spirit of the dead vanished here to Kenya. If it weren't for the frost that clings to its transparent shape, you doubt you'd be able to see it at all. Yes? So cold out here. Always this biting, glowing cold. Stay inside if you can, or stop by a fire to warm yourself. See the ones with green sparks? Even they are barely enough. It's only a matter of time, you see. I heard one of you scream and I saw a flash of light. I, Mephistopheles has that one now, another soul devoured. Soon there won't be any of us left except the lost. If only we could live again, return home, but it's too cold here, I can feel it closing in. Mephistopheles is devouring your souls. Yes. He has an army of the dead in the distant world of Toril, and has, and he is drawing on our essence to animate them. He's devoured so many of us, as it is, and still he needs more. Every one of us in a plume of white. What does it mean to have one soul devoured? Spirit shudders, but you cannot tell if it's from fear or a sudden gust of chill wind. It is a fate worse than death, worse than the hells. A one soul devoured is to become nothing at all. The way to stop it. One try. She was the boldest among us, the one most full of life. She confronted Mephistopheles and, in his anger, he did something to her. It's only a matter of time before she joins the lot. What was her name? The spirits tend not to use names here. It has brought us to Kanya because of horrible acts we committed in life. It is better to leave all vestiges of that life behind. It is better to forget. Only when we are lost are our names engraved in the eyes for all to know. If we reach that point, it no longer matters. Tell me of the spirit who confronted Mephistopheles. She came here full of anger and passion and hope. She was like a fire in this cold place, and all of us were drawn to her warmth. When Mephistopheles came to the gates to announce the devouring, she challenged him. Whatever he did, it drained her of that fire. Refusing to speak, she sealed herself in the cave at the center of town. Now she dwells within it, slowly growing cold, becoming one of the last. Is there any way to help her? Yes, there is. You can put the poor spirit out of her misery. Thanks to Mephistopheles, she is already all but lost. It's only a matter of time. How do I help her become one of the last? To help her, you must help this scri scrivener. 
When the scrivener carves her name into the ice, at that moment will her soul finally join the last. It's not peace, but it's better than torment. The scrivener, who's that? I'm not really sure if it's who or what. In some ways, it almost seems more like a pet than a person. Yet its former guide taught it to form simple word pictures. So who's to say? But for as long as anyone here can remember, the scrivener has been the one to carve the names of the lost into the eyes. If you look close, the ice is full of them, very deep. That's how the city got its name. Who was the scrivener's guide? Just another dead soul like the rest of us. But now he's just another victim of Mephistopheles devouring. So many have been taken. So many. Uh, other questions? Uh, I want to return to my home. As do we all, even if the, for just a moment. That's why so many gather here in the city of lost souls. Waiting, hoping, dreaming and slowly growing cold. It's only a matter of time. Okay, I think it's time to say goodbye. Yes, Deacon. Deacon be pretty sure we was up and gone to the hills. Anything about this place you can tell me? Ah, uh, there are not going to be many nice people here, Deacon think. Well, thanks for the thanks for the help. What is this? Car post reason. The word treason has been carved into the crest. Okay. How do you not get turned around, boss? Deacon never know. What is this? Quarry office. Brule the quarry boss. Oh, it'd be much warmer in here. Deacon grateful for small things, you know. Off. Smoke crawls off of the quarry boss's scaly flesh as he paces the small office. Broken furniture is scattered about and the walls bear the dense and smoldering marks of his meaty fists. Pike off! Can't you see I'm busy here? Quarry Grinder 5 just went down. Bloody incompetent filth puppets! This story's closed until I figure out what in the Nine Hells is going on. Uh, I guess we'll be fixing... What was it? Quarry Grinder 5. I do want to do shopping if I can. Erinese Quarry Worker. Fair skin, the fair skin of this once comely Erinese. Is leathery with scars and uh, very coarse veins, and other vestiges of a too hard life. Valen, might be a good time to talk about if you know anything I am about yours this. to command. We might meet our end at any time now. And there's something I'd like to get off my chest first. What is that? I wanted to express my admiration to you. I know that you were forced by Halaster to aid us, but I think you've done far more than was required. I am grateful. Thank you. I would have helped even if it wasn't for the geese. I'm glad to hear that. You are a champion unlike any I have ever seen. I am proud to fight at your side. I would like to think of us as more than simple comrades in arms, however. I am a man who has had few friends in this life, but I would be proud to count you as one of them, if you are willing. Hmm. 
Yes, a demon and a skeleton. It's gonna work well. Do we want to be friends or do we want to try some romance crap? Um, oh, romance might not be a bad idea. It would be a fairly good way to try to secure Valen's loyalty. Hmm, yeah. I'd be willing to be more than just friends, if you would. Helen looks away, crestfallen. I... I do not think so, milady. It would be a lie if I claimed to not find you attractive. It's just... I do not see a future between us. I'm sorry. Ah... <sighs> I see. Have it your way then. I shouldn't have said anything at all. I did not mean to imply that I. He saw it and turned away. You're angry with me now. So be it. Let's just move on. I am one with my will, one with my mace. Its path is my intent, its length my reach, its thundering blow my gentle kiss. I am yours to command. Hmm. Talk. How are you doing anything wrong? Okay. How do you how do how do the draw feel about your leadership? I'm not sure. Those who follow the seer accepted me readily enough for her sake, but the others, they despise any creature who is not drow themselves. Uh, drow themselves. I am no exception. Doesn't that make your job more difficult? It did, for a time. A slight smile lace across Valen's features. I have a way of convincing even Drow that my orders bear listening to. Strangely enough, I do not think my leadership would have been possible were it not for my demonic heritage. As if suddenly realizing his error, he stops short and looks at you warily. You know what a tiefling is. Yes, of course. <laughs> Someone with a handsome set of horns? He smiles bashfully, a gauntleted hand touching one of the goat-like horn on his head in a quick and self-conscious manner. Do you jest of course, my lady? Not at all, you're quite handsome. His cheeks redden with embarrassment. Uh, uh, thank you, my lady, you are too kind. He clears, clears his throat abruptly. But, do you know what I am, truly? I know what a tiefling is. He nods, uh, he looks troubled. And my demon's blood doesn't bother you. I judge a man by his actions, not his blood. His smile is slow in response, as if your answer is one he is not accustomed to. Thank you, Nalia. I appreciate that. Now where was I? Oh yes, the draw respected the part of me that was inferno, I think. I have a temper that some call frightening and they did not have to see much of it for word to get around. That gave them respect enough that they didn't resist when I assumed command during our first engagement with the Valshares. He rubs his chin thoughtfully. Three months ago, it feels like forever. Uh, it didn't go well? There is no good word for the way Drow commit warfare. It is not two armies on the open field clashing in battle of arms. He searches for words. It is as if Two great shadows silently meet. 
a fleet of assassins and dark magic seeking the throat of the opponent. We weren't prepared for that first battle, and the Valshares outnumbered us in every way. We lost three allied houses and the seer's chosen general before I was able to drag the army into retreat. You probably saved them then. I'm impressed. He stops considering your words and finally nods. It hasn't been easy. There has only been defeat after defeat, but I kept us alive. That is something. So we ran. I kept us together as much as I could. The Valshares nipped at our heels until we were out of drought territory almost entirely. Even in Lithmayathar, we are not safe. It is a temporary respite until the Valshares finishes us all, as the seer told you. That is why we are so desperate. Few have hope as the seer does. He glances meaningfully at you. I've kept them alive and on the run since that first battle, but only barely. I would truly hate to see them come to harm. With that he abruptly ends the conversation. Okay. I am yours to command. Tell me about your time in the abyss. He looks at you curiously. You want me to speak about my time spent fighting? Whatever for. I'm curious, I find your past interesting. He thinks about it for a long moment and then shrugs. Very well, if it will please my lady. Would gladly tell her, tell her a tale or two. That's what you will. What did you do before you were taken captive? I was a young lad in the streets of Sidul, if you must know. An orphan since my mother had, had died and a thief when I could get away with it. So you were a thief? Indeed. It was long ago, so I have no skills from those days. But at the time, I was one of the finest urging pickpocket in the hive. It could not have been easy. He nods. Sigil is a merciless place, even for children. I was but one of many who starved most of the time. Death but a moment away. How did you get captured? In Sigil, devils and demons walk the streets along with many other types of creatures. It is not an uncommon sight. One day a demon by the name of Grimma Grimashed saw me. He saw the demon's blood within me and scooped me up. There was no escaping him. I suppose I should be thankful that he saw a use for me, else I would likely have been nothing more than a snack for him that day. Uh, are there many others like you in the abyss? He smiles grimly. The armies of the abyss are legion. There were more warriors with my same tail than there were grains of sand. You survived, as I did, however. How is it that you didn't die during all that? His brow furrows as he ponders the question. To tell the truth, I do not know. There were times I wanted to die, there were times I tried to die, but I never did. Perhaps it was simply my fate to survive long enough to escape Grimash's uh, grasp. I certainly do not question it over much. Well, I'm thankful you're here. He smiles a bit bashfully. Thank you, my lady. That is most kind of you. Have you ever been in love? Willen turns and looks at you, shock evident on his face. That, that is a most personal question, my lady. Don't need to answer it if you don't want to. He is silent for a long time and then finally nods. Yes, I was. Once. He looks directly at you. She died. Who was she? 
She was a mortal servant of my master in the abyss. When I was being tortured, my master brought her before me and he killed her. He closes his eyes, frowning. It was meant to cause me pain, and it did. But that was a long time ago. And there's been no one else since. He smiles gently, not looking at you, but rather at an image in his mind. Nope, nobody else since. I have moved on, however, but there has been no one else. Perhaps if we could move on the topic to something else, my lady, I would appreciate it. I am yours to command. Hmm. How, how did you escape, Grim Grimashed? It was not easy. After so many months of torture, I was hardly in this uh, shape to battle anyone. So what happened? Grimash held me in one of his towers on a more remote abyssal plane. He kept many of his valuables there. Things he wished to visit and marvel over from time to time. I was but one possession on this plane. I suppose I should be thankful that he put me in such a place. He made a very inviting target for attack, which it eventually was. Tower was attacked? Wouldn't that put you in more danger? If it had been attacked by Batezu, perhaps. This was an outlaw force of Tanari led by another Baylor, however. They wanted nothing to do with me. No, they came for other, more material valuables. They drew off Grimash's, Grimash's guards and tore the building asunder. This opened my cage, allowing me to escape. Oh, you escaped by pure luck. He smirks gently. At first, I still had to carve a path for myself out of the abyss. Grimmerst was not about to let me go easily once he found out. How oh, did you get out of the abyss then? There are ways out of any plane if you know where to look for them. Some portals are natural, some place long ago and forgotten, some new. I was determined to find one and I did. A Marilith, who was something of a competitor of Grimash's, agreed to allow me to use her portal to sigil in exchange. Here Valen stops short and blushes uh, in exchange for a uh, favor. What kind of favor? His blush increases and he looks away. I'd really rather not say. I'll drop the issue. Did Grimash uh, come after you? I did not already. Did I not already say before that he did? So of course, many times. I was no longer the young child that he could scoop up and capture, however. Each of his minions I dealt death to, and when the day came for Grimash to come to me personally, it was his turn to perish. A glorious day indeed. You enjoyed it? His smile is grim. I believe that Grimash had his end coming to him. How could you defeat a demon you yourself said was so powerful? A Baylor can be defeated like any other demon, or Archdevil for that matter. If you possess a weapon that is enchanted well enough, you can strike through their defenses, just strike hard. So what came next? The obvious thing of course, although it took me many months of searching, I found the seer at last. It was and it was if she had expected me all along. His eyes grow calm as he stares off into space. She coaxed my humanity out of me. I will always have her to thank for that. You ever fear you'll lose your humanity again? 
sometimes. He frowns. When I fight, there are moments when I fear my rage will take over me again, me over forever again. I feel as I did in the abyss. It is a cold and lonely place, Nalia. I wish to be a good man, and I want to die that way. He suddenly looks away. And enough of my prattle. Let's get back to what we were doing. Hmm. Anything don't... else for you? Okay. Quarry Grinder 4. Game for Quarry Grinder 5. Lazy Quarry Imp. Ah. A small imp slumps against a silent quarry grinder, his arm caught within his gears. Despite this, he seems infinitely comfortable, a huge smile playing across his face as he snores contently. Beat the imp through the grinder. You know, that's the easy choice. Uh, I, I need a form with high dexterity. Uh, I am not a pack mule. Cobalt commander uh, I am not a pack mule. Disman dismantle the grinder and free the imp. It doesn't take long before you have the gear assembly apart. And the various cocks and belts uh, scattered on the ice before you. The imp's arm is horribly mangled and he wakes with a start. He bears his pain well. My hand! I can feel my hand! Ah, that hurts! Put it back in! For the love of all that is evil, put the hand back in! How did your hand get stuck in the grinder anyway? Ah, uh, do you have to remind me? I'm fine as long as I don't think of it. Uh, as for how it got stuck, I just sort of put my hand in it uh, on purpose-ish. Ouch, I think I'm going to faint. You put your hand in the grinder on purpose? I have known warriors who scarred themselves before every battle. They claimed the wounds gave them the strength to face what has was to come. Yes, well, it seemed like the fine idea at the time. I was really quite sick and tired of all the quarry work, you see. I thought that if I just stuck my hand in there, I might get a, well, a moment's rest. It was quite nice, really. Ah, <sighs> what's your name? Well, I won't be telling you my true name, of course, but everyone here just calls me lazy. Daisy, would you know the Reaper's true name? <laughs> That's a tall order. I'll have to know... I'll have you know. The Reaper's been here in Lost Souls longer than anybody. Except maybe the Sleeping Man. And the only one who's ever known his true name is probably Mephistopheles. The Sleeping Man. Yeah, the gift to have a thing for him. It seems, lucky bastard. I traveled the plains on some harebrained pilgrimage too, if I ever got a day off. But no, as if Mephistopheles needs more ice. Ah, uh, yep. Goodbye. Yes, of course. Don't forget to put the grinder back together, mind you. I don't think Rule will be pleased with the looks of it. With that, the imp flies off rather erratically, nursing his scattered arm. Shattered arm. Oh crap! We need intelligence. Uh, I am not a pack mule. Maybe not. I need you to be a she. What do we want? We need mind player. I think that gives uh, you an intelligence boost. Not a pack mule. The assembly fits together in a fairly logical fashion. 
You snap the last belt into place and Cory Grinder 5 hunts into action as good as new. I bet Valen regrets saying no to that tentacle's mouth. Mm -mm. The romance itself is sort of uh, trivial as far as I'm concerned. What I'm interested in is gaining loyalty, which is probably a reason I should talk to Deacon too. <laughs> he hasn't. Ah, uh, I can't help but notice that you've grown wings. Ah, uh, Deacon noticed that too. Deacon thinks they be very red. You were hoping for something different. Deacon was thinking maybe he gets white wings, like Old Master maybe. An Old Master say that Deacon got dragon blood. I assume it be white dragon blood like master. He cannot be sure what to think. You don't like it? No, Deacon likes being dragon disciple. Deacon feel powerful, maybe for first time since Deacon keyboard master. He can feel like he be able to do almost anything. He can just uh, want to look like old master. But red is much cooler than white. Yeah, red goes faster. You think so? Tegan looks on his wings with renewed appreciation. Maybe he is right. Thanks, boss. Deacon? What happened to you after we parted ways last time? Deacon comes first to Waterdeep and then he publishes book. That gives Deacon a little bit of coin so he can travel some more. Oh, Deacon never gets too far, to be honest. Why didn't you get too far? It did not works out for Deacon like he thinks it should. Deacon was happy to sell his great epic tale to publisher. Oh, Deacon only paid two, maybe three hundred thousand. <laughs> no, yeah, maybe three thousand gold. You should have demanded more. Deacon not knows any better. It seemed like lots of money to Deacon, more than he ever sees before. It not last long in Waterdeep anyway. There always be people who want Deacon's money. Deacon's got hard time knowing how to spend it. He pays too high price for everything before he realizes that people cheat him. Deacon tries to complain, but nobody cares because he just a little cobalt. Sounds like you had a difficult time. Deacon try and stand up for himself, but. He uh, can't fight or cast spells to make people nice. If he can do that, people think he can just evil cobalt and he gets attacked, maybe killed. Even city guard not helps Deacon. Deacon tried to talk to them, but they just chases Deacon and tries to kill him. Deacon gets away, but it be close thing. Cobalt's not very popular. Old masters say Bart is supposed to be charming and diplomatic. He cannot be a very good Bart. He can lose his all money. He can play music in dirty taverns where nobody listens and nobody thinks Deacon charming. I think you're charming enough, Deacon. You is nice to say that, boss. Deacon knows that there not be many people like you, though. Deacon not knows much about civilization, but Deacon not be dumb. Deacon knows why people think like that about cobbles. And it be true, couples be mean and nasty. If Deacon be dumb, he thinks all people be mean and nasty, just like people thinks all couples be mean and nasty. If there be peoples like you, there be others too. Deacon just got to find them. Deacon proves to them that Deacon be true Bart. One day everybody knows about Deacon. I have complete faith in you, Deacon. Deacon looks all choked up for a moment. Thanks, boss. That means very much to little Deacon. Okay. 
I fix your problem. Pull off. Doing his best to avoid eye contact, the quarry boss tries to straighten a stack of papers on his desk. His claws get in the way, however, scattering them all over again. I suppose you're expecting a thank you card, aren't you? Cold black people on a clapper zoo, now pike off! Why are you always so foul mouthed? Why are you always so damn polite? Honestly, that bile you're spewing gets right under my skin and just eats away. Ah, see that? Just the thought of it is making me twitch. Hmm. What is this place? Don't even know where I am. Clueless perks. Welcome to the outer plains, you basket weaving nitwit. The nine hells of Beator, to be exact. This here is the city of lost souls. A remote outpost in the waste of Kanya, the eighth hell of Beator. Look up and you'll see Maladomini, the seventh. Dig down and you'll find the ninth, Nessus. Aren't the hells supposed to be hot? Flames wet by thrice damned souls, I've heard it told. How many questions do you intend to ask, you annoying pea brain gnat? Some of the hells are hot, some aren't alright. Legethos, the fourth hell, has rivers of liquid fire. What does it matter? Do you know the Reaper's true name? Hey now! True names are dangerous things. Wars have been fought over less than that. Empires have fallen. I don't have what you're looking for and even if I did, I wouldn't give it to you. So pike off! Uh, can we talk about Mephistopheles? The big M, tall, dark and evil. You're lucky if you'll ever be half as bad as he is, you snuff no spawn of a Rakshasan leader. He's the one who made me quarry boss, I'll have you know. He named you quarry boss? That must be quite an honor. Honor? Honor? Honor my great aunt Nini's sucking bum, it's honor. This here is punishment, Burke. If the big M had wanted to honor me, he wouldn't have put me in charge of this lot of boot-licking incompetence. What is it that he wants? <laughs> what does any devil want? To slay a demon in the blood war? To sow the seeds of evil and grow in power? To feed Asmodeus and become lord of the Ninth? All things come down to this. Who is the... who is Mephistopheles anyway? Mephistopheles, lord of Cania, the eighth hell. Beholden to none but Asmodeus, Lord of Nessus, the Ninth Hell, who is king of them all. Like me, he is the ba of the Batezu, the devil kind. Okay, I guess mm, we'll just buy things. I want to purchase something. I bartered the latest shipment of ice for some goods from the capital. They make the lighten their load with me, and then those damn fool spirits keep pawning off their heirlooms. Have a look around. The Devil's Quarry. Well, Velox berries. Prices seem actually quite reasonable. Okay. Scarab of protection plus ten. Uh, that's a million. 
universal saving throws improved by by ten. We have six hundred fifty thousand, so yeah. And plus nine is only four hundred thousand though, so that one extra plus there quite expensive. Plus eight is three hundred thousand. And most of the master. Hmm. Ring of fortitude plus ten, ring of projection plus nine. Major sonic resistance. Ah, your basic items. He potion of peel one thousand three hundred. So this is actually ex excellent shop as far as prices are concerned. Usually that's closer to two thousand. Probably some interesting items too. Battle Legion Bow, 600,000. Freedom Attack Bonus plus 8. Damage Reduction, point blank shot. Leech plus 8. Gladiator Club plus 8. On hit. Days. So plus eight weapons seem to be the thing here. Reaver plus eight. Okay, they don't. Ooh, this is a uh, much more interesting selection. Ropes of the Shining Hand, usable by monk. Armor class bonuses. Exactly. Yeah, we have the haste. That's what we have. What do we? Shield of the Praetor. Plus five. Ooh, a lot of resistances. Ten against pretty much everything. Plus three wisdom. This would be a very good shield for us. Uh, fully overrides everything this shield does. It provides much more protections and even the wisdom enchantments and spell resistance. Yes. What else? Crown of Thorns. Damage protection. Ooh, damage resistance against divine. That and negative energy and positive energy. Those are very rare. Regeneration plus five. Holy shit, this is good. Also expensive. Doesn't practically matter. We are going to lose. Mind affecting immunity if we take this, but we're gonna take this. I haven't even seen anything do positive energy. Divine is what they usually do. So, what the hell even causes positive energy? I, I don't know. Belt of Agility plus 10. Oh, yeah, so I don't think we're gonna get much done now. I do want to do some shopping for myself. Definitely not upgrading the full so uh, valence weapon again. It's already causing me enough troubles by being too good at getting rid of troubles. Major fire resistance. Uh, what? Um, it's paying off. Over ten thousand per item. Cost 
copper necklace for 50 gold. Usually that's, that was in uh, something around 39 to 40 gold typically. So this guy is paying absolutely fantastic prices. Yeah, 44,000 for the long sword. Holy shit. Take it. Take it. Amulet, crystal of undeath. Yeah, 50,000 maximum. Holy crap. Um, a lot of useful abilities. Could be very, very, very good in our tough situation. Uh, Bolts of negative energy, 42,000. 50,000. Fifty thousand. Fifty thousand. Folks, we should sell most of these calls too. For no other reason to get the inventory space. I'm at least confident now that we can afford the really interesting items. Really missing something. Black pearls. Hmm. So we have a um, million. Look of the bats. You can go away. Breastplate, fifty thousand. Ah, this would be good for Deacon, I think. I don't know. By the way, this shield serves no purpose with the better shield now becoming available. Uh, where is it? Shield of 
Praetor. Okay, blood bonuses. Yes. And it, it pre introduces armor bonuses to us too. Plus two base armor, plus five armor bonus. Plus five, I think, is the only thing that matters. Resistances, wisdom, spell resistance. We have a build of agility plus four. We could afford a build of agility plus ten. That would help too, always. But I want the helm. Crown of Thorns. Not, um, not sure if all these. Ma yeah, the regeneration plus five is the most interesting thing about this. Ooh, boots of shifting sh sand. Hmm. Okay. Was there anything else? Build of agility plus ten. Give it to me. Build the uh, strength plus ten too. Uh, it might be worthwhile. Yeah, we can't afford it. Yes, we can. It's only 150,000. The thing about this is that certain shapes... In certain situations, the ability to do high at uh, get a high attack rolls is much important than getting the armor class. If we can't, it doesn't matter if we can uh, evade attacks if we can't kill the enemy. By the way, armor class risen by two. Um, yeah, I'm buying the strength, and I'm buying the healing potions. The thing is, we might sort of give up Balen, so we're much more reliant on our own living, so we have to spend more money to make sure we're up to the task. I'm not sure if this weapon is good. It, it really isn't. Yeah, We need to make a weapon for ourselves. What I, we're not going to do it now, naturally, uh, but what I'm envisioning is... <sighs> something that has a lot of elemental damage, at least, because it's, uh, it's a much greater bonus than this provides. A true seeing might be a thing too, but that's, that's a minor issue at best. I, I don't know, we, we ha don't have the money for it either now. And I'm inclined to just buy the shittiest piece of crap we can get. Doesn't matter what it is. Do we have a shitty piece of crap? I think I might have sold one. Yeah, these are all too good. They're basically so expensive, I'll just waste all my money just to get them. i to hold on to one of the cheaper weaponry. Holy crap, this costs over a million. And minus four dexterity, plus six enchantment, plus eight to strength, keen, on hit vorpal, that's an instant death. Call lightning one use per day. It's the vorpal, you need a critical failure for that to work though against most opponents, and I think the big bosses are probably immune, so I don't think that's worth it. Harvest Axe, Vorpal DC 18. That works on more people. Yeah, there's no point staring at this though anymore. Helmet of Thorns. Hmm.
So weapon upgrade is the only thing we're really missing. And we can't afford that now. I would like to find out more about what the hell's going on. Hell Breath Tavern. Sir, I berry pick her. Hello to you there. This woman is stooped over a small bush, picking berries from it and placing them in a small pouch beside her on the ground. What are you picking? This here is Velax Nettle. They've got the deep roots going down to the lava pools beneath the ice and their berries store the heat. It's the only way to start a decent fire around here. Flint and tinder doesn't work. Have you tried it? Okay. How do you need to... Why do you need to start a fire? No. That's a stupid question. How do these berries work? If you use buy some wood, uh, you just break the berries open over it and the heat will set it alight. Single berry won't get you a whole lot of warmth though. I recommend uh, a good three berry fire if you can afford it. Where can I find them? The tavern keeper's been letting some of us pay our tasks with them, so he'll have a few. Quarry master might have some as well. Other than that, you'll just have to find them where they grow. So I said though, they like what heat they can find. If you spy a steam fissure like this in the ice, there's probably be a Velox Nettle basking in that little bit of warmth. Quarry workers again. Arden Swift. Oh look, we really are in hell after all. A mime. <laughs> Is that Arden Swift? Holy crap. Tavern Keeper. You feel somewhat unnerved beneath the dragon's malevolent gaze. Only in the outer plains, you surmise, would such a creature choose to be a tavern keeper. A dragon! See, boss, they can tell they can be friendly. Can I get you something? It growls, then corners of its mighty maw curling up in what looks to be an angry sneer. Tell me about your patrons. You spy a cold glint in the tavern keeper's eyes. Rule and I have an arrangement regarding off-duty quarry workers, so here's where they spent their coin. Some of the spirits come here too, devil knows why. As for the Megizerai, they're new here and nothing but trouble, nursing their will like it's all, I, all they have left in life. That wind, wind fellow with them, though he drinks it hard and fast. I just hope he's good for the money. Do you know the Reaper's true name? I know how to run a tavern, hunt for my supper, and make a fine swill. The rest I leave to birds like you. Now, were you wanting a drink or not? Ah, <sighs> some spirits. Some berries and it's a rye pilgrims, sullen pilgrim. Yes, fierce looking as he is, this man seems intensely bored. His dour expression seems well suited to the gray pallor of his face. Been here long. Dumb question. 
Kitsurai gives you a sullen glare before turning away in boredom. Why so glum, chan? Why so perky, Berkey? You're stuck here just as much as we are, coming in from the awful cold, drinking our life savings away on malt ale, suffering the jibes of the thiefling swift. Why did you come here? Sensei Dwar Tarvana came to our monastery preaching about the teachings of the sleeping man. It all sounded so wonderful. We sold all our belongings to finance our pilgrim cheer to Kenya so we could see him. Only now the gates have been closed and we're trapped here. And the sensei won't even let us see this stupid sleeping man that we came here to see. Truth be told, I don't even think he exists. Why won't she let you see him? She says the pilgrimage is a lesson in patience. No one's allowed to see the sleeping man until they've solved a bunch of mysteries about him. It's all just made up anyways. What kind of mysteries? Well, I got as far as the third one before I gave up. The sensei wanted us to know why he left his home and I got to think about why all of us left on this pilgrim. Oh, story time. Do you mind if Deacon writes this down? Go on. Uh, why you come all this way? Our hearts had known no love. We lived this drab, grey existence in the ways of limbo and along came the sensei, so full of life and passion. She had found something to love, and I guess we wanted that too. Well, isn't that the answer then? We are a little riddle. I guess uh, we'll have to find out those answers ourselves. Is resolve there? In ghost form. You recognize this drow as Rizol there. The drow is made from the seer's rebel can. He gives you a grin and says, I didn't expect to see you down here. Welcome to the hills. What are you doing here? I was killed during the siege of Lithmeathar. Not sure why I ended up here exactly. Maybe the eighth hills just needed a good weaponsmith. It's not so bad. I've been here to rebuild my forge. Throwing heat from down here below the ice. I've already crafted enough items to restock my inventory. While business is slow, it's better than nothing. Clientele are a bit different. Devils and Githerai instead of Drow. Other than that, the more things change, the more they stay the same. At the heart of it, I'm still selling and upgrading weapons. Uh, so don't think he has anything we really want. Might have a shitty weapon though. No, it's just plus six weapons. It's five. But even a plus five would be good because it's a lot cheaper than a plus six. Deacon might have a shitty weapon. I didn't think about that. Deacon always have everything crappy things. So you being worthless is paying off. Yeah, plus three dagger. Although we might as well take the short sword. It doesn't really matter what we take. If we can't use it, I can. Hmm. How much would the upgrading cost? No, no, no. Uh, rapier of the high road. Keen and acid. That's what this basically has. That it's of any worth to us. Well met. <sighs> yeah, we have 160,000. We probably can get a bit more. Yeah, we could replicate our current weapon quite easily. Not sure I want the keen though. Well, it's not exactly a bad thing now, is it? Double critical chance and critical hits do a massive amount of damage on some forms. But it's a waste enchantment slot. Well, not wasted, but used up. I'm not sure if it's worth it. Uh, I don't 
care about the enchantment bonuses. They do, I think they do increase damage, but not attack bonus, which is the more important one. Yeah, I'll make my own weapon. Give me acid damage. I don't think fire or cold are particularly good options here. Maybe electrical. Well, I think most things are fairly resistant to that too. We could put a haste on it so we could uh, change our armor. Especially if we intend to get rid of this bastard. Immunity to critical hits would be nice. And yeah, I forgot that these guys have loot. Hmm. Okay. Crap. Totally forgot this. Ah! Uh, I am not a pack mule. Yes, you are. You're the pack mule at this point. Uh, I think I'll end it after this. This is more about inventory management than, than anything else, but... Got to get these things down at some point. Especially now that we're sort of thinking about giving up on this guy. Uh, I am not a pack mule. Yes, you are. You're in denial, you're constantly carrying all, all the crap. You're the pack me all. I'll take the greater amulet of health. Thank you very much. It didn't matter when we relied heavily on the undead form, but now it starts to matter again. And still, I'm I'm taking the helm. Boots of haze. They could be very useful of course in some situations so Digging got his armor, excellent. I mean, uh, dragon wings. I'm keeping the armor because his spell casting ability is somewhat valuable too. And I'm taking your belt. Speaking would certainly benefit from our better build of agility. This isn't much better, but it's some better. Maybe strength. Your mace is terrible. Uh, if there's someone who deserves a better weapon, it's you. Okay. 
Anything else we need to do now? Races of armor, we might have a better one. Pretty sure we do, in fact. It's one of the bags. Plus six armor modifier. So gloves really don't mean much to us. We could change the... Uh, uh, I don't care. I take the boots of speed. At least you will stay in the fight after that. Let's the critical hits. A lot of resistances and plus 5 regeneration or immunity to critical hits. I think I'll keep the regeneration for now. Yeah. Well met. What are your prices? Very good. Very, very good. Ah, yeah, inventory management. Inventory management. Never escape it. I don't think there's any use for rogue stones anymore, but I'm still keeping them. This course is useless. Why do I even have this? Letter from Valcheres. Yeah, probably not useful either. Okay, we have at least some money again. If we're going to do some upgrading, it's probably to get Deacon's weapon a little bit better. Death's handmade. Great sword plus four. Mm, yeah, that is it. Four hundred thousand again. So our weapon could use a keen bones and then it is superior in every way to the weapon we had, so I'm going to well pay for that. Um yeah. You are a maze user from this point on, I guess. Ah, uh, I am not a pack mule. You don't have the proficiencies to equip the maze, really. A maze, simple or yeah, we don't have simple weapon proficiency. Okay. Seriously, we can't use simple weapons. Well, it's only one plus difference. So I think Deacon is going to be a dagger user, maybe. Ah, shit! God damn it, Deacon! Keep the maze for now. Can't do anything with this. Yeah, I'd still like to add another bonus. Damage bonus. And well met. I don't think anything really is all that good as far as we are concerned. The haste might 
Yeah, I'm at adding haste. It does nothing for us now, but it might give us a chance to basically ditch our armor for something more. Something more useful in a lot of shapes, so... Um, yeah. And that weapon is pretty much as good as it's gonna get. We don't have any really good armors at the moment. Yeah, doesn't give any good abilities. This gives saving throws, which, to be honest, isn't all that useful. And haste. But I wanted to non armor haste. That's what I got. Yeah, I think I'll be wrapping up things for now. More of a management session before, uh, after a major change in, in the game. Anything else? I'm going to do two things. I'm going to recheck the quarry office to see if they have any worthwhile armors we might want to go after. I'm not going to buy them now because I can't afford them, but it would be nice to know. Then I'm going to the Reaper's place and dump Valen there. There's nothing. We've encountered encountered good armor fairly regularly, and I haven't seen any good armor here so far, which means there's probably a massive amount of good armor somewhere. Yeah. Can stay here with Nathira. I am yours to command. I can't I can't stay save la la la. Why can't I, I am yours to command? Okay, I need to do this. Some kind of order to leave the party. Can't remove him from party. What would you like me to join up with? I am yours to command. What? Yeah, I, I can dump them. Crap. That can't be I am right. To command. Well, I'm not worrying about it now. We're ready to make proper advances against the plot. 